Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to create restricted account for your uh, staff members, different levels of accounts. Here I'm logged into one of our practices. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go into settings and make sure you go into employees and all the employees that you want access, want to have access that they are marked as active. Okay. So I'm going to go next. You have to make sure all the employees that you want active are marked active. And once you do that, you can come back into the settings and then go into the user accounts. And now this is it's the user accounts that uh, you'll be able to come in here and create different levels of accounts. So I'm logged in as Aditi, as Dr. Agarwal's account. And of course, she's marked here as the owner. And I'm going to create an account for one of our employees. I'm going to make uh, that particular account into a restricted account and I'm also uh, let's let's look into first what the restricted accounts means what the restricted account mean is and the definitions at bottom over at, at the bottom over here restricted account means they have access to the practice management data but they can they cannot view non-standard dashboard now you can change it as an owner to make change the definition what a restricted account means and what I'm going to do over here is for this particular restricted account, for this practice, I'm going to let them query revenue opportunity. So they can query revenue opportunity. I'm going to hit save. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my practice IQ dashboards and I'm going to share a certain number of dashboards with this particular employee. I'm going to say, I want this employee to be able to see the all office dashboard. So a restricted uh, staff has access to what you define that they have access to. For example, in this case, I created one of our employees as a res restricted staff. So they can only see the dash dashboards that you share with them. For example, if I share the all office staff dashboard right here with this particular employee, they're going to be able to see it. Let's now look at the hygiene dashboard, which I have not shared with this particular employee. And let's quickly check that, click on the edit button, and here we are, that particular employee does not have access to that, okay? So now go ahead and log out. I'm going to try to log in as that particular employee um, to show you what, what they are, are, are going to be able to see versus not. Here, my keyboard is not working. So let me use this particular keyboard. There we go. I've gone ahead and logged in. And... As you see now, this particular employee only has access to the two dashboards that I've shared with her or her. And they, of course, have access to the revenue IQ. And this revenue IQ contains uh, the ability for you to, for your employee to find and research any revenue opportunities that might be available. Okay. And th this is how you create a restricted account. All right, so now I have logged back in as the owner. Let's see if we can make some changes again. So I'm going to go back into the user accounts. And let's say I want to take out the privilege of this particular user that we were just talking about, which is a restricted account. I'm going to take the privilege of her being able to see the revenue opportunities as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the revenue opportunities out. I'm going to take the ability to view phone calls out and manage everybody else's tasks out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And once I log back out and log back in as the restricted user, you're going to see that this user is going to have even lesser privileges. And there we go, we're logging back in. And now, as you can imagine, the user only has access to the two dashboards that were shared with the user and only the tasks that were shared with the user. Okay. Hopefully, this helps, uh, helps you guys create restricted accounts for your different staff members. As you can imagine, uh, there is many different combinations and permutations possible on how you can set up restrictions on your, st on your, on your different accounts. Um, Give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions about this.